Today in this video, I'm going to show you the best inkjet paper of 2019 and how to use it. And we're starting right now. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Erastus from Garment Creations and I show people tips and tricks to amplify their t-shirt business. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and don't hesitate to smash the like button on any video. Also, hit the notification bell. We got tons and tons of videos dropping every single week and you don't want to miss it. Let's get over to the computer and I'll show you how to set up your artwork to use the best inkjet transfer paper of 2019 we're over here in Photoshop and the first thing you need to do when you get over to your design program does not have to be Photoshop is you need to either open up the image file that somebody sent you that you're going to use to print or if it's not already set up and you're designing right onto the canvas you need to set up your canvas so for me what I'm going to do I'm going to go to file new and I'm going to set up my canvas because my can my paper is eight and a half by 11. My canvas size also needs to be eight and a half by 11. So over here for my weight, it's going to be eight and a half. And my height is going to be 11. One thing to remember when you print any type of image, the resolution needs to be at 300 and we're on the cam we're on the portrait mode today instead of landscape. You can also design inside of a landscape image, but for today, for this purpose of this tutorial, we will be using our portrait mode. And nothing else here matters, so we're gonna go to create. Once you create your canvas, your canvas open up. This is exactly the size that you need it to be. You're gonna to have to find your image wherever it's opened up into your computer, wherever it's hiding that, you wanna drop it onto here. For today, we're using this canvas. This is this for today. We're using this artwork right here. It's the artwork of my beautiful wife. I'm gonna drop it over, hover over our canvas that we just created, and drop it. So our image is dropped onto our canvas right now. We need to make it fit our canvas where there is no white border around, unless that's the look you're looking for. But from my experience, I can tell you, you don't want to print anything with the white background behind it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to hit control T. That's my expand to my transform tool. And I'm going to transform this artwork so it fits my canvas. And to do that, I'm just going to hold alt and I'm going to hold shift and alt to expand my artwork and adjust it a little bit where I'm not losing any detail. I want to bring it down, make sure her eyebrows or in on the design. And then I'm gonna hit my check mark. So our design is in there. This is what it will look like. It covers the full paper. Next step here is to get it printed. So before we get started, before we hit the print button on there, I need to tell you that there's two types of papers and it's important to know which one you're using. Based on the one that you're using, you have to take an extra step inside of your program to mirror your design. So when using the 3GO peg, you will not be mirroring your design when using the 3GO peg. So this is for your dark garments. So when you're printing dark garments, you don't need to mirror your design. You just print it just as it is onto your canvas and print it onto the paper. But if you're using the light garments, if you print light garments, you will have to mirror your design onto your, your software. Wherever you're designing your, your design at, when you come to printing, you need to mirror your design if you're using light garment, which is the one with the blue print on the back. And it says Jet Pro SS. So when using the Jet Pro SS, you will have to mirror your design. One thing that you need to know when purchasing your printer, you need to have a printer that can print borderless images. What that means is that your printer has to be able to print past the, the edge of the paper or all the way to the edge of the paper or else you're gonna have this white box going around your design and 
I'm not sure if that's the look you're looking for, but that's never the look that I want where there's a white box going around my design. So it's important that your printer that you're using has the ability to do a borderless printer. And the printer that we're using today is the HP OfficeJet 8710. So tips to remember when you're loading up your paper, you have to know the orientation of your printer. And how you do that is basically, if you take a piece of paper and put a mark on that piece of paper and then send it through a print, and then you can figure out how your paper come out on your printer. I say that because it's important to know how you're gonna load up your design onto this thing. And the way I've learned mines is that my paper goes in with the print facing up. If you're finding value in this video, I appreciate if you can smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Let's jump over to the heat press so I can show you how to apply a great quality print and make an awesome t-shirt. Okay, you got your design all nice and printed. Good quality, as you can see. The quality looks good, besides the fact that she look good. But, so the next step here is to peel the design apart from the back end. So this here is a back end that needs to come off and all you need is the print. So what we're gonna do here is, I like to just snip it a little bit, just a little tear from the back. That gives you a little room here to grab the paper. And now you have the paper in two pieces and you're able to just peel them apart. So after you peel them, this is your design all ready to go onto a shirt. Let's jump over to the heat press and I'll show you how to apply. We're over here at our heat press. Our heat press, this is the Amazon press. And remember, everything that we talked about, links are gonna be included in the description below. I appreciate it if you can use those links when deciding to purchase anything. With anything that you print, what you need to know is time, temperature, and pressure. So our time for this print method here is 30 seconds. Our temperature is gonna be 350 degrees, and our pressure is gonna be medium to firm. Today we're using a guild in. This is gonna be a size small, because my wife is a size small, if she wants to wear her shirt of herself. Or we'll probably put this on a mannequin and hang it up in the showroom. So one tip that I like to do to find the center of my design, I like to fold the shirts in half to get a good crease and then give it a little pre-press. So with that method now, it gives you a, a line, gives you a line in the middle of your shirt. As you can see, there is a line there going right through the center of your shirt. I load my shirt, I load my shirts upside down with the collar facing me, making sure my collar is off the shirt a little bit. Another thing that I like to do, I like to take a lint brush and just get all the lens off the shirt when I'm applying those transfers. Hit it another quick couple seconds just to get the, to get any type of crease off the shirt. Lay our design, our image onto the t-shirt, making sure it's centered. You can also fold the image in half to find the center mark of it. Making sure you're about three to four inches, three to four fingers from the neck. Always make sure your collar is off of the shirt. Now our design is there. The one thing about this, this print paper here, once you put it onto the paper and it starts to heat up, it's hard to move it. So you want to be quick when, with your placement or else you're going to have issue moving it. Because right now if I start to move this, it's already hot. It's heat activated. So this thing is going to be, it's going to be hard to move. I like to cover it with parchment paper. It's not 100% necessary. 
But you don't want that thing to somehow stick to the top of your plat in there. That would mess up a good machine. So we're going to apply this for 30 seconds. And we'll see how it comes out. Right now we're done. This thing is a cold peel. So I'm going to leave this on there and let it cool down to keep it protected. And then we'll check it out and see how our print came out. So our design is ready. It's nice and cold. We're just going to take the parchment paper off to reveal the beauty of this awesome shirt. Look at it. This thing is nice. It's awesome. Feels good. Doesn't wrinkle. And it's ready. It's ready to serve. Ready to give to your customer. And yeah. So that is how you get great, great quality print when using the 3G OPEG transfer paper of which in my opinion I think is the best transfer paper out there in the market for 2019. If you found value in this video don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out all the awesome videos that we have here. Like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out all the other awesome videos we have in. Check out all the awesome videos that we have here on this channel. Check out this video right here on how you can start your very own t-shirt business when, with using this method.